Now we look forward to this every year. It's just so beautiful up here. It's really all about the prep, and uh, which started early this morning at 9 o'clock in terms of shucking and cleaning. You really can't do this alone or even with a couple, three people. This is a team, and which means what, four or five that were helping clean. I'm peeling off this top that's tough. Yeah, see, that's the tough part. There's 10, 11 divers. They're about 12 pounders. Um, and then these guys in the kitchen, there's four or five of these guys. And if you get it organized on that level, it actually, I don't want to say it's easy, but it's achievable. It's very smooth. No one person has to go crazy, you know what I mean? You know, this is what, the 15th year? 18th. 18th year. It all started with a drunken conversation about making money, uh, earning money for the high school band back in the day. Yeah, how deep down are these? 15, 20, 6, 8. The first day they were real deep. Depends on the, uh, tide. the tide depths. You know, we got a couple of spots that are pretty bulletproof for getting out of the money. They're really, really hard to get, so don't anybody else try. <laughs> no, it's really important that you do it for the code for Avalon, so we always have enough people that that transport and enough divers so that we're staying with. You can only have three apiece in your possession, so it's really important that we do that correctly, which Nancy is the, the master mind of all of that. And like I say, I think the reason it lasts so long is because of this restaurant. You know, the way it's presented. Hey, it's the only way to do this. I did it myself the first year. It's not a good idea. Let's get so you can help me distribute, all right? Okay, and I've got one extra volunteer. You yeah. can help too. You can also help me too. So you've seen the early process already of shucking and peeling. So these are pretty clean already. Now that dirty heel I take off first. I get a nice slab that way. Nice and even cut. These are just beautiful. I mean, this is perfect. This is fresh. You couldn't ask for any better. And then we distribute them throughout the kitchen with parchment, spray oil, pounders, uh, teach technique, and pound each one out individually and specifically so it's just right and ready to bread and ready for cooking tonight for the customers. I don't know if anything commands the attention and love as abalone does. It's just so good fresh. It's just remarkable. This is huge. This A positive impact on the community. I, I think we have. Oh, without doubt. Over the years, the cumulative impact. In excess of two hundred thousand dollars, and right into the local community. Yeah. Often high school sports, often high school music. These are the butternut mashed potatoes. He wants to know if it's acceptable or not. So, <laughs> damn, that's good. <laughs> wow! Wow! Uh, right about now, when he's turning it. Lightly tan in there. We really almost want to cook it as little as possible. It sounds odd, but you really don't want to beat this up at all. Or it's, it's all about can you taste the abalone? And if the breadcrumbs or any of the oil or butter or anything inhibits that, then I think it takes away from the real beauty of what we got here, which is fresh abalone. With the abalone, we do a very special house coleslaw that we make. Tartar sauce, same thing, we make it from scratch. We got chives too? Yes. That's it. That's some, that's some unbelievable eating right there. This, this, is, this is what's why we work so hard today. And in all honesty, uh, you know, it's fun, but in a, in a small sense, you're risk. well, maybe in a big sense, you're risking your life going to that ocean anytime you go in there. You, you feel lucky to get back out, <laughs> especially with abalones in your bag. So, uh, so as far as next year goes, we'll wait and see. Yeah. Wait, never wait. say never, but... Yeah, but we're getting tired. 18 years of uh, you know this long process, which now you're witness to, is quite the achievement, you know. And we consider ourselves lucky that we, no one's ever been hurt, and, you know, everything's going really well. And it was a huge success, you know, and these guys know how to do it. There's a need, there's always a need in the community for something, and uh, it's a great resource, you know. But as a chef, I'm really thrilled that we can do it, you know, with my skills and also at this restaurant, so. It's worked out really well. 
it's a perfect fit. Yeah, yeah. The rest of exactly. Congratulations. Guys. Absolutely. Thank you very Thank much. You. <laughs> this is Melinda here on 30. I need to move on it. Okay. Ready, my love? Yeah. Sure. Is that all right? Two, two, and then two out the window? Yeah. Okay.